Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome to my top 5 vintage collection figures of 2021. Just dropped my Black Series video yesterday and uh, today we're doing vintage collection and as I did with my top 5 Black Series, we do have an honourable mention so we're going to kick that off straight away. We've had a pretty good year for vintage collection, I hope it, I hope it gets even better coming into next year. Um, some of the reveals that have come out this year that we're yet to see uh, that are coming out now and uh, yeah, just to preface by saying I don't have the most recent way with Bo-Katan. Um, they're not due for release until sometime in January or February down here in Australia. So just got to be a little bit patient and uh, hold out for them. So, <laughs> And I, I'm struggling because I, I really want those figures. Some of those new ones like Lobot, they look fantastic. Really loving it. So without further ado, let's check out my number six. Honorable mention goes to... Endor Luke Skywalker. I think this just feels like a good figure to put out. I finally picked up the last Endor Luke at Celebration in Chicago. It took me across the other side of the world to get it um, <laughs> for a reasonable price. And then, yeah, a couple of years later, they release a new official version, which I did end up picking all three, uh, Luke, Leia, and Han this year, which was really good. I loved collecting those again nice updated versions with good facial sort of paint this one has a new head uh, pretty much using the same body as has been used with the last few Luke Skywalkers in the vintage collection which I'm totally okay with it's a great Luke why fix it um, only thing I am intending to change I still haven't got around to it is replacing the little elastic band that they've used here with the actual belt uh, from the old older Luke so yeah, I'll get around to it one day. I'm just not too fussed. You know, the way I have him displayed with his hands holding the lightsaber in front, that's, you know, pretty much covering that up. So it's not a big deal for me. But yeah, had to throw this one in there. I thought he was brilliant. Looks great. Facial likeness is fantastic. A nice quick zoom in there. Check it out. Hasbro did a great job with Luke. So he is my honorable mention. Now we kick into top five territory. Coming in at number five, we have Lando Calrissian, Empire Strikes Back. Now it only took about, what was it, 16 years, 17 years to get this one out from the previous release. Um, that's a long time between figures. And uh, yeah, definitely well deserved. Love me some Lando. Lando got a lot of love this year, which is great. You know, we've got a Black Series General Lando. We've got a re-release of General Lando in the Vintage Collection. Um, and yeah, this one here, fantastic. Loving this. This is just such a good, such a good addition to the line. Particularly with the release of the Cloud Cloud City uh, Bespin Freezing Chamber, Cloud City Carbon Freeze Chamber, whatever it was called, um, which was very early this year I think earlier this year if not last year I think it was this year so with that being released he was definitely needing a new Lando so and this one just turned out really really nice so I'm, I'm really really stoked with Lando coming in at number five he did, absolutely deserves it and uh, yeah coming in at fourth place Boba Fett from Return of the Jedi one of the best releases this year by a mile really well done um, I did get the early version that doesn't have his little readout thing on here sculpted in um, there were some updates later I didn't I don't think I've ever seen one out in the wild as yet um, so yeah I'm, I'm quite content with this it's not too much of a problem such a small figure I'm not too fussy about the tiny little details like that which you know otherwise you know this figure looks great great articulation great posability Helmet looks great. Jetpack's killer. Everything is fantastic about this figure. I really love it. If I could get one of those, if I, if I ever see one with the uh, actual sculpted in little readout thing there on his chest armor, I will pick it up. Um, but if I don't, I'm not. I don't feel like I'm losing out anything there, so it's fine. Really good figure. Came on a really cool card. I did keep a second one. I had to keep one carded. I thought it was just too good. It was nice to see Boba on a uh, Return of the Jedi card instead of the the Empire Strikes Back one we've seen multiple times, no matter how cool that is. It was nice to sort of see something different. So yeah, look, Boba comes in at number four. 
and I'm just going to rest him there with his blast on Lando's head, <laughs> which is a bit rude, but... So coming in at third place, I'm giving it to Sokotano from Season 7. This was a really, really nice figure, really nice release. I did get multiples of this one, I do have a carded one, I do have another loose one with the robe. And I think I did get another one at some point, but I think I gave that one away. Pretty sure. But yeah, this one, easily one of the figures of the year for me. Came out really nice. Um, I wish the Black Series one got the same amount of love this one did. That would have made that figure just even better. I love the Black Series one, but it was reusing a lot of parts from the previous Ahsoka. Whereas this one, uh, I think it's pretty much all the same. I think some of the bits are going to be reused on the Mandalorian Ahsoka Tano that's going to come out next year. I uh, haven't had a close look, but apparently there may be some like arms that are reused there. So yeah, not too fussed about that. Because yeah, this one turned out really nicely. Big fan of Ahsoka. I'm actually looking forward to the re-release of the sort of season three and onward Ahsoka um, that's getting re-released on the Vintage Collection next year. So that'll be really cool. Nice updated version. A little bit better paint apps than the original. Um, so yeah, definitely looking forward to that one. So yeah, Ahsoka is at number three. Coming in at number two, the Dark Lord, Emperor Palpatine. Now this just is a thing of beauty, really. Um, I wish I'd been able to get the sort of Death Star the throne room set, just to have the different head sculpt, but I'm more than okay with just having this one. And I did actually make my own throne room. I 3D printed my own throne room, so which I think is actually better than the Hasbro one. So I'm more than happy just to have this guy um, with his one head. That's fine. Um, I'm sure he will get a re-release at some someday with the uh, sort of more stoic-looking emperor head, whereas this one's a little bit more aggro, you know, zapping Luke face. <laughs> but yeah. Go back and check out my video. I did a 3D print of the throne room with the window, Palpatine's chair, some steps, some computer consoles, which I don't know that I did a video on, but uh, yeah, really, really happy with how that turned out. So Palpatine, definitely one of the figures of the year in both scales, I think. It was about time, long time coming for Palpatine. He deserves long deserved, long awaited. We've all been hanging out for Pup 10 on a vintage card and I think they've done a great job. So that's why he comes in at number two. Coming in at number one, this is just a favorite of mine for the whole year. It is Darth Maul. The Apprentice. I don't know what it is. I just love this figure. It's just, yeah, absolutely awesome. Articulation's fantastic. The lightsaber accessories are great. Head sculpt is just fantastic. And uh, yeah, to pose him alongside Ahsoka is just fantastic. I also did a, well, I didn't 3D print the throne, but I painted a throne that a friend printed for me. Um, you can check that video out as well. If you just sort of scroll back a little bit through my feed, you can find that one. It should stand out. But yeah, made a uh, Mandalorian throne for Maul. I need to get another one of these so I can uh, sit him on top of that throne. There's plenty around still. There's a lot of malls and Ahsoka's still still hanging around the shelves. A lot of them were put out. Um, so it was good for all the collectors down here in Australia. A lot of people were able to get them, get multiples, get carded versions, pick around, find a nice copy of it, which is really great. Love having that option of being able to sort of look around at the best paint apps and stuff like that. So. Maul is awesome. Loving this guy a lot. He comes in at number one for 2021. Slot him in there. So yeah, please let me know what yours are down in the comments below. Love to hear your thoughts, top fives, etc. Please sound out in the comments below. Top five. Let me know what you thought of my top five. 
six. And uh, yeah, I will see you on the next video. May the force be with you, always.